Peterson and today I'm going to talk about fiery hunters. These beetles are not a pest to your crops. They actually eat the worms and things that are in your crops, such as inchworms that are destroying plants and other things. So he right now has is not is eating this inchworm that I gave to him. And he seems fairly hungry, so we just grab this guy like this and take him off. He will come off. We might be able to give it to him once he's finished this guy. So as he chews there, he we, he's pulling out all his juices and he's going to and leaves the skin behind. So these huge jaws that it has is for eating worms the size of this. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to with in, unless he had big jaws. So its natural environment is underneath poplar trees in poplar forest because it hunts the worms that are on the poplar forest so that it can eat because that's what it eats day to day and day to evening. It is hunting for worms to eat. It like this and look at that look at its jaws just a working away and as it chews it sucks out all that juice like that and as it's chewing it's sucking out all that juice and eating and it can eat lots of worms Right here on the bottom of their legs, they have two forks that hook onto things. You see how it's hooked onto my thumb? That's what makes it be able to climb trees. They are also extremely fast and very strong. So in order to hold them, you have to hold them very tightly. Otherwise, they will escape. And so what, how, why are you holding it like that? Like this, so that it can't curl its head back and bite me. Because if it does bite you with the size of jaws it has, it'll give you a pretty good bite. Um, are you talking from experience? Yeah, I've gotten bitten by them before. And it wasn't very fun. But when adjusting, you hold them right here by this little piece right here so that you have total control of his head when you let go. So Ryan, our viewers probably wonder why the world your hands are so dirty. What are your hands stained with? Um, they are stained with dandelion juice because I've been pulling Danny Lyons. That's right. Typical 11 year old boy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> now, here's another worm for him. And he loves worms. Worms are his breakfast, supper, and lunch. Look so at that. So what else are they doing right now in particular this they time of season? They are breeding. That's right, so we are June 1st. Yeah. And this is their typical breeding time, isn't it? Yes. And these beetles are also ground beetles. So they have shallow burrows in the ground that are, that have basically, they scoop out a scoop into the earth and then put just a, a hole just big enough for them to fit. And then that's where they sleep at night. But they are not a pest. So they got, they do have a very, very, um, what color, what color dots are they? Red. The red dots on their back. Now it's really hard for my camera to pick it up because it is so incredibly um, hard to see. But maybe I'll get a picture of it. I'll see if I can pull up a picture. So if you guys look on the side of his head, just beside his antennas, you guys can see his eyes, which are a little bit bigger than the, than the, the dots on its back. And right here, this piece that I told you to hold on to when you're adjusting is a neck guard to keep it from, so if a, another beetle comes to fight over a mate, then that neck guard protects its neck from getting bitten. That's right. So to put this beetle in perspective, Orion, can you put it on your hand and just hold it there without... Yeah, and let's see. Kind of just see how big this beetle really is. That's what it looks like. It's a really big beetle with extra long legs. And we are in um, northern Alberta, Canada. So this is a very cold hardy beetle. It moves really fast. 
as yeah. you can see. And he is fairly calm right now because he's been eating worms. But also you can hold them like this or you can put your fingers right here and you can hold them like this. So now do these beetles secrete anything? Um, whether it's sometimes, you know, out of danger or say, or say they don't want to get eaten. They some... do secrete a, not a very nice smelling gas, but that's about it. And that's what left of his worm. Yeah. That's what they do. And you can, sometimes they'll leave these like left on a stump or something. So then if you're walking through the woods, you might see some. But they're very efficient at their job, eating worms out of crops and things. So, and it keeps the pests really down. So, fiery hunter, we love you, don't we? Oh, yeah. And he also eats tent caterpillars and inchworms and a whole bunch of different worms. I'm Orion Peterson with Everything Homemade. Thank you for watching. hunting away that's what he does and then he goes up here and he looks at all the leaves and everything and catches his worms <laughs>